let's go ahead and look on the terrains now. If you remember when we zoom out before, we have a planet and this is our object. So right here, if we look on our adjustments, so we have it our terrains, our planet, and we applied specifically this um, terrains or displacement it's kind of specific to our object so if we click on terrain right here you'll notice we have it two of them and again the different type terrains will affect differently so let me go ahead and delete those ones right now and at this point okay if I'm zooming all the way out again let me go way far away you notice we start here with a curve and right here we have our planet. This is just a sphere or this is object. It's what we have right here. It's our planet. You notice on this planet before we also had different terrains which is applied and affecting our planet as a displacement right here we have a surface shader for that so right now when i remove it it's a just a sphere a one large sphere well it's a little bit more than that but just in think about this way so to create this terrain let me reset and go back to our view we want to create um, surface we want to create terrain to this we do this we can do this by clicking add terrain and the same things we can add from the library we can add high fields or we can add fractal basic and also we can add some displacements and those displacements we can apply locally one of these we will use those displacements a little bit more in a higher in exploring Terragen set of tutorials for example a crater shader we're going to use those Right now, I'm just saying this is displacements, its effect in some global or local areas. We can affect some fractals or other terrains, and they quite a bit powerful. So we'll use them in more advance of our tutorials. Right now, what I want to concentrate, it's mostly on the high field or the power fractal. How I said before, the high field, it's a mostly image based. If you look on the black and white, you'll have gradients between black and white, zero and one. The edges represent white, represent the highest point, black represent the lowest point. And between them, you can set different height. So right here, height field, we can use it by loading different files or generation. If we're using fractal, it's will using a special function, the fractal function, mathematical function to create it. Alpine fractal is a little bit more advanced with erosions applied, um, but it is will take a little bit longer to render. So if you were going without less details, kind of more use the um, power. But if you want more realistic, Alpine fractal is probably will cover. So let's try and load it first, the high field one. Okay, so we're going to terrain and we're going to load file. So, okay, right here, I have some um, terrains I created based on the world machine. So, and right here, for example, even world machine, you can save a Trajan file, which is very nice. You also can preload them as the TFF. So I had multiple different maps was creating. So we can use it those ones. But right now, what I want to do, it is just going and preload it as and file so we'll go ahead open you can all notice right here sometimes what's happened when you open you kind of lost you don't see anything so what do you do I normally I look kind of up and I see oh right here so I'm just way way under so let me go ahead and move my camera above okay so I can preview right here and what else I want to do it is maybe you know, zoom out slightly and go right here to the edge this is what i want to see at this moment okay, we can kind of zoom in like this so right here you can see this terrain notice also 
because when I zoom out, this is segment we imported. And this is based because in World Machine, actually it's very nice because you can go inside and in World Machine, you can specify resolutions or meters. So they will translate intelligent directly, which is very nice and very easy to do. By the way, if you need it, I have a little, um, many tutorials about the World Machine, so you can check them out as well, see how you can work. And they're creating very nice terrain so you can import them. The one thing, let's look on a properties what we have right here. Um, one main property, what I used when I imported, it is right age. Look right here. We have it kind of like stand out to high altitude. What I want to do, it is take border planting and maybe move it. See how it's smooth now. Again, this is enable a stitchable borders because inside the, um, when you do inside world machine you can create a tiles and you can import after these tiles inside and make it stitchable so anyway and if we do this way again without stitchable we can create a nice single mountain or other things and import it overall point right here we import new terrain it's high field which is can be image based or specific format as a properties of course we have it everywhere we have a name we can rename it we have options for these names, as well as location if we needed flip X and Y, rotate our, remember white is up. Okay, we have it also position to the center, lower left or upper left, location map. We can offset from the center position. So for example, if I want, I can move this a little bit away. Okay, let's go back to 100, to zero, reposition back, okay. We can set the locations and you remember like before, if I have my terrain and I created some area and I want to put it maybe special mountain on the middle of my valley, all what I need to do is just take copy location where I want to place it and paste those coordinates, which is kind of very nice. Okay, also border blank, you'll see when we can kind of make nice and smoother addition. And we also, um, can mask shaders or high or the high fields additional if we want it. Because in some cases, maybe you don't want to overlap this month with other ones, we can mask by another high field as well. Okay, we have the color properties, and this is same as a default color. You can use it um, different shaders to this applied, but in this case, you can also apply maybe as a basic, kind of like darker rock look for example so we can apply those basic um, color and diffuse okay we also can apply additional displacement and we can apply fractal details this is kind of one important things to understand even we import as an image to this or other things we can add additional details the problem if we don't do this and uh, some other environmental applications problem is when we come closer to the map that we're using we start having seeing those pixelizations by using fractal details we can eliminate those um, problems so if we come very close even to this terrain you notice how it's changed so it start creating and adding these fractal details right here removing all these unnecessary pixelizations let's go ahead as example I save it I'm just going to render so we can look a little bit closer okay you can see right here how well and we have it very good details by adding these fractals to our effect so this is our fractal details how we can apply um, they have it plus and minus plus when we even come closer you can still see all these beautiful details but minus they will alter the uh, shape of terrain you're importing so for example if you work with a dm maps and you have a too much apply of fractal details they may distortion um, from real view so kind of it's plus and minus but with combinations and adjustment that you can create these beautiful details to the image based um, high maps and of course if you're using the um, world machine 
you'll have it additional maps you can apply it for the splat maps or for shader distribution so you can create very realistic very nice effect and um, another set of tutorials i have it it is world machine and terragen the digital made painting so those ones are coming soon and you can check how you can combine and work with both of them together okay so this is our high shader and one thing you notice on a high field maps they're limited. So they have this size that we set right here, or whatever it was defined by the meters. And this is scale is set to this point. With a fractal, because how it's created, you literally, or you, technically you can create infinity map because it will wrap around. Of course, you will need to specify for this. And as example, We'll go in and we'll create the power fractal. How I say alpine, we'll have some um, additional details, realistic look, but it will take a little bit longer to render. For these tutorials, I'm just using fractal so we can preview. And look right here. Now, this is apply as long as a camera can render. However, we still have our high field shader right here applied. So we can take this shader and move it or readjusting our high field so we can re reapply, readjust it and try to merge and combine them together and that's what we're going to do in some other areas but overall um, that is different the one of fractal it is infinity it's have it all details but it's less controllable to um, work with the okay, and I have plenty of other ones so let me delete this ones okay to control them, we actually need to go inside the fractal, right here, fractal, and work with the fractal functions or otherwise to manipulate with um, how look. In uh, some cases, workflow will maybe work uh, work for us in some cases. When I created um, terrain that I wanted and more as a high map, importing and surrounding when less details and placed inside the uh, fractal terrain. Also fractal terrain right here, I can use it mask by shader so I can create my mask flat one and placing on a middle to take down some of the um, fractal terrains, create area for my high map and this way I can integrate it. Again, that is will be a little bit more advanced to us and it will be in different series of Terrigen, but overall I want to give you overview. So let's look till we're on fractal terrain very fast. We'll go look over properties. Same, we have its scale. This is feature scale, how high or details you want it. Smaller scale or details, look before. Same, we have a color, which we can apply it. We have a displacement that will apply and displacement. It is a um, powerful function that's allowed to take surface and offset when we start rendering we have the noise applied warping when we have it wrap around and we also have an animation tab to apply to this this is more advanced options overall just overview you can see we have a lot of properties we can modify and tweak with our terrains and by itself fractal terrain and high field terrain to work it is will require its own um tutorial set so it's it's not we cannot cover just in one section it will require quite a bit many hours to go over so you can master them and work with the terrains okay and how i said before right here we can load a dm we can generate it alpine fractal and displacement again one more time those is, is allowed us to change some shape in local scale sometimes maybe on global with a specific uh, displacement shaders and we also can transform and warp those shaders and specifically shape we want to say we'll look on this in the future